We have breaking news in the southwest suburbs. A police chase ended in a crash after shots were fired. And WGN's Dana Revick is live at the scene now with the very latest. Dana? Well, this happened just before 2.30 this afternoon uh, in this subdivision here in Plainfield that's near Route 59 and 119th Street. Now, here's some video from earlier this afternoon. We believe this actually all started in Romeoville, and police eventually pursued a vehicle. The chase ending here near Heritage Meadows Drive and Pasquinelli Drive in this subdivision with that suspect's blue Hyundai crashing into a tree and then two other police vehicles crashing as well uh, just down the street from that location. We do know there is a suspect in custody who allegedly fired shots from an AK-47 at police. He was apparently wanted for a separate shooting. We spoke with a neighbor here who heard all this commotion and uh, looked out the window of his home to see what was going on. I heard the tires screech and what it sounded like a crash. It got me to uh, go look out the window. Uh, so what I saw was the two vehicles that had crashed on Pasquinelli here. Um, and so I walked out to my living room to look out the uh, sliding glass door window. At that point, I saw about 10 or 15 cops um, all coming towards the area from all directions. Um, I opened the door just to see what was going on and I saw the two vehicles that we see crashed right behind us here. Um, at that point, I couldn't quite figure out exactly what was going on, um, and it wasn't more than two minutes later. I see officers running from all directions with their guns drawn. Now, we're still trying to piece together the timeline of events here and are still awaiting official word from police, but it appears it took a little bit of time to locate this suspect because neighbors say there was a period where they were being told to shelter in place inside their homes. But again, a suspect is in custody. We do not have an update yet or word on injuries of uh, that suspect when he crashed, as well as the officers who crashed in their vehicles. But as soon as we do get any new information, we'll be sure to update you on our news later tonight. Live in Plainfield, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Appreciate it, Dana.